Now he knows he's really hooked. Oh my god. Oh my god. You can definitely pull. You're watching Bean Screen TV, and this is Bean Going Wild. What's happening everyone? It's me, The Bean, and you're watching Bean Screen TV. And in this episode, we went to the complete opposite corner of the country, we went out to Alaska. And in this episode, we go and catch some salmon. Let's show you how we got there. We're going to Alaska. Here we are. Bean are sport fishing going to Alaska. What we got here? Oh. Let's see what the bean poles can land in Alaska. Here we go. Five hours and 45 minutes later, we'll be in Alaska. Maybe six hours later. But the bean's tired. We got a big old moose. Man. That's a moose? That's a moose. Now that's a moose, okay? <laughs> I didn't get that on the bean pole, but maybe I'll have another trip. Find out. World record held it. 459 pounds. That's my competition. Wow. Yeah, for my salmon. Look at this thing. It's huge. I think it's taller than the bean. Yeah, I think he is taller than the bean. He would eat the bean. He's like taller than like me if you put like Nick Stanzik on top of me. Which is only like an extra four feet, but it's still. What's up, everybody? We're here in Alaska. Our first morning in Alaska is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, take a look around. This is called Miller's Landing in Seaward. It's absolutely stunning. You know, this is always a bucket list trip of mine. It's so exciting to be here. It's no words to describe the beauty of this, this part of the country. Astrid and I, we went for a drive to explore the area. Never been to Alaska before, so I was really excited to see what was out there. We saw a beautiful river and decided to pull over and check it out. And it didn't take long until I stumbled into some salmon. That water is freezing cold. You see the snow up there in those mountains? So these creeks actually get dry during the dry season and when it's the summertime, which is now, the snow in the mountains melt which floods these rivers. My feet are completely numb right now, but you know what, I saw salmon, I had no fishing rod with me. Why do I have no fishing rod with me? I don't know. Yeah. And uh, you know, I just saw my opportunity, I attempted it, but the bean struck out, he did not catch the salmon. But we're going to fix that. But we're going to fix that, we're going to go get my feet warm, nice and warm like. So we you know, you know, we just got bored and just went for a drive. We found a creek. I was looking for some still water that's right next to rushing water. I know from trout fishing in Maryland that that's what we want to look for, for trout. Found that, found a school of salmon on our own. Here we go, ran to the car, got the bean pole, ran to a tackle shop, got a little tackle box, and we're going to see if this happens on our first morning in Alaska. Oh, we're hooked up. Oh my God, look at that jump. Did you get that jump? Oh, there he goes. He's yeah. taking off drag. Look at that. 
I got a little bit of losing track now. Come here. Oh my god. I guess this is what it pays off to have a landing net. Look at that, folks. How cool is that? Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Uh, <laughs> first salmon I ever caught. And I caught him on the beam pole. Let's see what else we can manage here, all right? Here he goes. Look at that, it's so beautiful. So I got to cross that off the list. Salmon on the bean pole. And then I wanted to challenge myself even more. I've seen bears in the wild just catch salmon and I want to do the same thing. I wanted to catch a salmon with my bare hands. So I give that a go. Here, check it out. Guys, look at this. Okay. We to just grab the salmon. We ventured up the creek a little more and we hit the jackpot. We found a lot of salmon and some really skinny water. Uh, some of them that were hanging out of this tree debris. I don't know if it was from a beaver dam or what. I used a stick like how we use in Florida, a tickle stick for lobsters. And I saw his tail pop out. Oh my god, they're so strong. Look at <laughs> He's so green. He's so green. He's so green. Look at this. Look at this. And I caught my first salmon with my bare hands. Ended up being a male post-spawning chum salmon. <sighs> Look at his head. This is so wild. Yo, you saw it here first on Bean Screen TV. Grizzly bears come at me. You ain't the only one to get them by hand. That is, that is wild. Look at that. Oh. So these salmon actually this time of year spawn up the river to die. They go spawn up the river from the ocean. They spawn later eggs and then die. See how beat up he is? He is eventually going to die. If you look, these rivers are like drying out. You have nowhere else to go. You look at the back of this river, it's all dried out, they have nowhere else to go. We went even further upstream and we found a ton more salmon. They were so thick, I literally stumbled across a whole pack of pink salmon, also known as humpy salmon. And I gave this one a good old EFC boot. Look at that guy, he's just chilling. Got another one. That was a pretty one. Wow. We got him. You got. You, you saw it here, folks, baby. I started catching fish the normal way. Started catching big fish on the mini rod. Now he's catching fish with bare hands. <laughs> What's next? If I were gotten to it with the bear, comment below and tell me who you think will win. I'm going to go through and explain the salmon spawning cycle. Once they swim into the rivers to go spawn, now they're in fresh water. That's when they start transforming, they get those weird head shapes, they grow those snaggly teeth that they used to bite each other. They turn into like that greenish or really bright red color. And those are really not good eating fish. Uh, the salmon that you really wanna eat are what they call brights, where they're very silver, bright color salmon. That's the ones you wanna take home for dinner. So long story short, the salmon that we found in this river are way up river. They've already went through their spawning cycle. They've already transformed into basically a different kind of fish. Those are just not, like I said, fish you want to take home to eat. We got, we got to go, folks. We got a bear on our ass right now. But it's got to be faster than her. <laughs> well, that's it for this episode of Bean Screen TV. Make sure you smash that like button until your finger breaks. Make sure you subscribe. And tune in this Wednesday, where we're going to drop another video of our day two adventure extravaganza in Alaska and see if uh, Asha made it past that bear or not. See if she survived. I don't know. You have to find out. There's the bane. Here I am. There he is. Being in the wild. 
Where you at, Bear Grylls? Whatever the hell this thing is over here. I don't think I want to see this thing alive, whatever this is. What, what, what is this? Okay? What is that? Huh? Thing got a nose bigger than me. A thing with a nose that big shouldn't exist. You went to Alaska. You gonna explain a lot through this whole thing and talk about your experience? Yeah. You know, hey guys, you're watching Bean Screen TV. I know you're wondering how we got here. We're gonna walk you through it. And then we rewind. Going on a stroll, going on a bench. I wanna go check this out, a little still water. I come right off where that fast current is. It's where the bears like to hang out. God. Stay. 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 Good people. Alright, let's go find some grizzly bears, some mooses, and some bald eagles. But first coffee. But first coffee. I'll tell you what. They ain't never seen no EFC up in uh, Alaska, I can tell you that much. Oh, yeah. He's tired. Yeah. Didn't sleep at all. I'm gonna go kill myself. Edit that out. <laughs>